Do y'all remember uh, Nova Online? Because I do. I, I do. Um, so I covered this guy. Yeah, not Nova. Listen, I covered this guy a little bit ago. Um, apparently, his Discord DMs were leaked. Um, if you don't remember, I'll give you a little rundown. Basically, this guy was known on the internet for doing like a bunch of like fat f uh, food reviews. I'll do I'll do them in a second. And um, actually, fuck, I started recording already. I'll do I'll do I'll do twenty after this. Fuck it, fuck it. I'll do twenty after. Just remind me, remind me, remind me before I hit the record button. Um, yeah, he yeah he he uh, FaceTimed a minor. Um, by the way, somebody was trying to defend him in my TikTok comments. They were like, well, actually, he's just age he's just age playing, and the person he was DMing was age playing as well. They were fourteen years old. Do not defend this man. Like, uh, listen, people can have their kinks, okay? I I'm not going to kink shame. If you like to wear a diaper, I think it's weird, but go wear a diaper. You like to do that shit? Listen, bro, it's weird to me, but go do it. I don't give a fuck. But if you are going to talk to minors, that is where I draw the line, bro. No. You don't do that shit. Trying to talk to minors and shit? Like, nah. Nah, bro. That's wild. That's wild. Because, I listen, I can't hate. Because everyone has their own thing, right? Everyone likes their own kind of shit. If you like your own kind of shit, you like your own kind of shit. Do that shit behind closed doors? I, I don't care. But just don't talk to minors. It's really not that hard. No, we need to slide the diaper pic. So, so here, let's let's see what the DMs are about. Nova Online, the TikTok creep who we talked about a few months back. And in case you guys don't remember, just a quick brief summary. This guy was accused of being a creep. This guy was accused of having a diaper fetish and talking to a very young person as a grown man. There's pictures of him sucking on the pacifier. Oh, no! So just a really, really weird dude. I believe the last time we talked about him on the channel must have been two, yeah. three months ago, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he was on the news. What the fuck is the joke he did? He was on the news at his job and it was like, can I get a French onion soup or some shit like that? It was some some stupid shit. I haven't really thought about Nova online or what he's up to as long as he's not, you know, messing with kids. He can make whatever crazy quirky dance he wants to make next. Was it my fault? Just one call. And about a week and a half. What the fuck was that? I'm done hiding my feelings behind a fucking screen. This is what a former coworker hate did to me. A sick emo bastard. This shit just cringe, bro. And about a week and a half ago, I got a few DMs from some people. By the way, follow me on Instagram. I will love it. If you have video suggestions, hit me up. And this goes back to August 1st of this year. This is a video idea that I've been sitting on. So this person says, Nova is talking about you in his Discord. And this mm? is the first thing I see. Fuck. What? This is Noah's account. Sensitive Society is peer pressuring me. This was August 1st at 8. Yo, they got beef now? Yo, hold on. He is a Discord incel, Matty. He's literally addicted to that shit. Like, that's his whole fucking thing. His time. Then he says he wants to do an interview with me and clear the allegations out. Problem is, I'm always misunderstood. And the reason he keeps making videos on me is because he wants money. You're talking like I talk about you every single day or every week. The second part is true. Those Nova videos always do really well because people want to know more about this person. And for the record, yes, I have reached out a few times to Noah to do an interview so he can clear the allegations out so he can talk yeah. about it. So we can get his side of the story. But every single time he ducks me or ignores me or says no because I'm misunderstood and you're gonna take my words out of context. But no, but I will not lie to you. I will not manipulate you or edit the video in any way, shape or form. Of course, the video did crazy numbers for my channel a few months ago. So of course, I wanna interview that person. That opportunity is gone. Like this is the last time I will ever address you. I don't wanna interview you. You can do whatever you want. But the fact that you're lying yeah. to your people on Discord, you're like, yeah, fuck So, yeah. The thing is though, sorry, I'm like not talking too much because I am eating, but this guy is just giving you a chance to, to clear the air. And you're like, oh, but he's going to misinterpret my words. Yeah, if you fucking are an asshole to him and he's going to fucking, yeah, you can make the video however he wants. But like, he's literally just giving you a chance. And you're just like, you're saying no. Like, that's just, that's just dumb. Like, it's like, it's like if, but if fucking Keemstar said, oh, come on, drama alert. He'd be like, oh, yes, of course, Keemstar. <laughs> Fucking sensitive society is peer pressuring me when I'm not. And don't worry, I'll show the proof in a bit. This person says, yeah, like all he wants is a TikTok views and likes. LOL, he knows you're right. I do want the views and the likes, but I don't think he knows us, right? Sarah says, just looked up this channel. Seems like they will twist your words into something negative. Wow, I'm getting okay. roasted by Discord fucking losers out here. <laughs> I was just about to say, that's one thing. But also, listen, I've been watching this guy. He has not been twisting anyone's words. He literally just reports the news on this shit, and I fucking love this guy for it. Sensitive Society, you're doing really good with your shit. I like you a lot.
Just saying. <laughs> it hurts my feelings. You don't do that and it shit. makes me want to cry really, really badly. When people are like, yeah, he's going to twist your words. He's going to manipulate you. He's going to push you into saying something. The whole purpose of the interview, in my head, I thought, okay, this is going to do very well. I'm going to make good money. People are going to love the interview. And I want him to explain his side of the story. That was the whole point of the interview. So everyone won. This person says, wait, is he a TikToker or a YouTuber? I get mixed up sometimes. I think he's a YouTuber. I watched one of his videos earlier today about Jupiter. Where else can you see my fucking videos? Like, I don't have a TikTok. He made a video 22 minutes ago about Lizzo 2. So they're just talking about my channel right now. Excuse so me. So hold on, hold on. This is just a side rant. These emoticons, I have no hate to them. I, I have no hate if you use them. But like sometimes when you when people use them, that shit makes me uncomfortable. Like it depends on how you use them. But like like when people do this shit, like okay, thank you, and then they do like the up W up. It's like it makes me uncomfortable. I don't know why. It it has for a long time. And it's like it doesn't make me uncomfortable to the point where like I don't want to talk to you. It just it gives it gives me like you know the feeling that people get where it's like Ugh. like it just gives you that kind of it gives me that kind of feeling whenever somebody like tries to, uh, excuse me uses them it just ugh, I don't know. Watch one of his videos it's like an today ick. about Jupiter. Where else can you see my fucking videos? Like, I don't have a TikTok. He made a video 22 minutes ago about Lizzo too. So they're just talking about my channel right now. No replies. Wait, he literally got dunked on though. A lot of people didn't believe him. Oh, I almost said something bad to you. I almost said something bad to you. You you almost fucking pissed me off. No, just shut up referring to are you talking about it is or are you talking about jupiter or are you talking about yourself what do you mean people didn't believe me in what i looked at the comments from all of those videos and they're all positive no one's saying you're a fucking liar or you're trying to manipulate yeah us. i was like, gonna say who who shat who who talked down to nova online or who talked down to, to this guy what is Nova on about? Do you guys remember when he said this? Sensitive society is peer pressuring me. Look at the time. I joined the Discord so I could make sure these DMs were real. I joined the Discord. It's full of fucking freaks and stinky people who need to take a shower. I could smell the shit from their underwear all the way to my casa. At my time, he sent this message at 5.59 p.m. And you guys might say, well, how did that happen, Sensitive? Didn't you reach out to him first? I did. I reached out to him via Cameo. And here's the oh. thing. August 1st, 2023. Hey, no peer pressure. Pressure Nova at 5:58 p.m. He literally said, "No peer pressure." So one minute after I legitimately told him, "Hey Nova, no pressure. I'm not gonna pressure you." A minute later, he's telling everyone on Discord, "This fucking guy's trying to peer pressure." What a fucking dumbass! Oh my god! No, what the fuck is this icon too? What a fucking bitch. It's like little dude, what fucking the fuck? bitch. Bro. And just for context, this is just some DMs between me and Nova on Cameo. This goes back to April 8th. So I've been trying to get an interview for a minute. It's not like I'm desperate for it. I'm just like, well, yeah, you keep texting me, so I'm gonna keep asking you if you wanna do it, if you yeah. change your mind. That's valid. I don't need Nova That's valid. to survive. If I never make another Nova video in my life, I'll still be successful. There's a million creeps out there who need to be exposed. What fucking game is this guy playing, by the way? This is such a side thing. What the fuck is he playing? Exposed. Many more to come. Subscribe to so you don't miss that. I just wanted to give you a chance to defend yourself so you can deny or prove me wrong or prove the haters wrong that you're not a freak and a predator. Like I said, back in April 8th, I said, I mean, it wouldn't be a gotcha interview. Maybe you can clear out the rumors about you, the stuff people are saying, etc. So ever since the beginning, my intentions have been clear. I'm not I'm yeah. not trying to get him. I'm not trying to make him look worse than he already looks. That's gonna He's not Keemstar be impossible to do and then he says i just saw your video about me i don't really like to do interviews a month later i hit him back and i say hi there wouldn't be live and i just want to ask you a few questions won't take too long just to clear a few things up and maybe give people more context let me know i think it'll be interesting to interview you and get your pov and maybe you can clear some stuff up at mm. this point i was already done like this was like my last time asking him i know i seem like i'm desperate so I think I noticed that this is not even like the D I thought this was like the leaked DMs, but it's just his DMs with him. No, but please give me an interview. Please give me an interview. Or else I'm gonna Fucking fall guy off. clicked me. My here was asking him more than two times. I just wanted the content and I wanted to be nice and polite. So I'm not going to do that anymore from now on. I'm just not going to engage oh, with cool. people like this. And I don't think he responded to that. And he just ran and bitched to his Discord. So that's where that mm. ended. And then on August 1st, because I get the DMs of him talking trash and making lies about me. And the part where he says, yeah, he's peer pressuring me. It makes me look bad because it's like, yeah, I'm desperate. And then everyone on that Discord, whenever they see my name or anything, they're going to be, oh, 
Yeah, that guy says there, the guy who was trying to peer pressure Nova online to do the interview. So after people send me the screenshots of his Discord server, I say, actually, you know what? Forget it. It's not worth it, Nova. Have a good one. Then he responds and says, sensitive. <laughs> I do have a question, though, and I'm not going to respond to that. Just a very interesting situation. I, the why I damn, he, he's stronger than me. I would have been like, what's your question? Because, like, me... I'm a very curious person, so, like, I, I would love to know what he said, but, like, I, I respect him for not answering, because, like, obviously, he's just, like, he's just a little bitch. This guy's just a little fucking weasel. Like, the fact that, like, he would, like, sensitive is just being a nice guy to you. Like, hey, you know, I want to give you the chance to clear the air on my channel. I have a big following, so it'd be good for you. It'd be good for me, because I've made some videos on you just explaining what you've been doing, and it's, you know... It It'd be good for us both you know it literally would be good for both of them like in the sense of content creation but nova's like nah he's just gonna twist all my words so i'm just not gonna do it and then i'm gonna go talk to my discord kittens and be like oh my god this guy's peer pressuring me and by the way um my mom made me try to take a shower with something called soap <laughs> like fucking ugh. Interview so Incel, bad. Like bro. I said, it's for the views, for the money, and on top of that, the reason why I wanted the interview is so we can get more context to the situation. But yeah. uh, I guess not. Believe it or not, I don't need Nova for success. <laughs> Like, I'm good. I try to give you a shot, but, you know, you can fuck right off and keep making your Mountain Dew videos. Unless Nova Online does something creepy again, I'm not going to talk about him again. I'm not going to address him again. It's crazy that it's a minute apart. Like, I say, hey, no peer pressure. Then exactly a minute later, this bitch is on Discord saying, yo, this guy's trying to peer pressure me. He's trying to squeeze me and milk me for money. Please. That's just sad. Nova's just a fucking little bitch. Nova's just a bitch. I... I, I, just another thing, again, I don't understand why this person in my TikToks was, they were like, yeah, well, actually, Nova, Nova was just, um, uh, he was just age playing with someone. I'm, I'm so tired of people sh throwing down his name because he wears diapers and everything. Nobody's judging him. I mean, some people are going to judge him for wearing diapers. I'll give you that. But I, I no, I'm sorry. No, he talked to a minor. That needs to know. That just should not be happening. I don't get... I do not get how people just do that shit. Like, how do you just talk to a kid? Especially when you're a, like a grown-ass adult. I know... I, the one thing I do know is that apparently Nova has, like, age regression or some shit. Like, some regression syndrome, stupid-ass shit. Oh, excuse me. Like, I know he has that. I get it. But also, that's not an excuse to literally try and send a child diaper photos and stuff and ask them the last time they masturbated. That's not okay. That's not an excuse, bro. Like you, you can you can have that. Uh, yo, welcome to the welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. By the way, I didn't say this before. We're over two hundred followers on the Twitch. Thank you all so much. I didn't say anything. I should have. That's my apologies. I love you all. Anyway, um, no, but. Like, the fact that, like, age regression, like, you can, you can have that, like, that, I, I don't understand, I don't understand the mental, like, the, 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 is it a disease, is it a condition, I don't understand it, the whole thing, I don't, like, the whole thing of, like, some people have, like, the mental age of, like, being, still being 16, even though they're, like, fucking 20, listen, if you're like that, you're like that, whatever, um, I would recommend going to therapy to maybe help yourself with that, because that can be bad for you, yeah, it's age regression, it's some, some people have, like, the mental, um, they, they're still mentally in their head. They still feel like they're younger when they're older. So that's what he has. That's what's going on with him. Um, but then that's still not an excuse to go ahead and do the shit he's doing. Absolutely not. So, um, is, am I saying the right thing? Regression? Is it age regret? Let me look it up. Let me, let me make sure I'm not being stupid. Yeah. So age regression is, uh, occurs when you mentally retreat to an earlier age. Uh, you believe you're back at the point in your life and you may exhibit childish behaviors too. So that's what he has. He has age regression or he, 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 he does a lot of age regression. That's why he acts the way he does when he was talking to that minor. But that still doesn't excuse the fact that you talk to a minor, bro. Like, listen, again, if you are somebody who is like that, because I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to say any names, all right? Uh, but I will let you know, uh, I did date somebody, right? I've dated somebody that was like that. Not like, not completely. Here, I'm going to play some music while I talk. Um... I, I had, I, I dated somebody, like, yeah, this was years ago, this was years, this was like five, maybe six years ago at this point, um, uh, I dated a girl, she was, she was into kind of, like, age regression and DDLG, and me being with that person, um, I was, I was, you know, I was interested in, I was interested in, you know, doing whatever, 
would feel her would help her feel good and feel happy. So, because I'm I'm somebody who likes to try everything at least once. So I dated that girl. Um, I have no hate to her. In fact, I, I had a conversation with her like a year ago. Like she she's doing good. I'm happy for her. Um, but like it was something that like you know when she would be uncomfortable or she'd be scared, she would revert to kind of like a childish state. So I know how that is. However, I'm gonna let you know right now. That girl did not DM minors. Like, that's just not, no. You don't fucking do that shit. No. That's just, no. That's just weird. When you think about it, I don't think the way you act 100% relates to who you're attracted to. It does not. Um, just because you have age regression doesn't mean you can fucking be attracted to minors. That's just fucking pedophilia. That's, that's, people are saying, like, oh, he has age regression, so it's okay. He was, no, it's not okay. He's a fucking grown-ass adult that still lives with his parents and doesn't take a shower and is on Discord all day. And... He doesn't fucking... He talks to minors. Why are people defending this fucking guy? Actually, why are people fucking defending this guy? Why are people blowing this guy up? Out of all people on the internet... And I'm not, I'm not gonna be here... Why don't I get views? I'm not doing that. It's just the fact that... Why are people defending this fucking dude? Meanwhile, there's actual good creators... Who are struggling and trying to get out there... Who don't have the fucking viewers or anything... Because nobody wants to see them. They want to see the fucking little shits on tiktok that are like oh look at this guy he looks funny so we're gonna laugh at him and be fans of him we love this guy even though he's a fucking pedophile like people are just stupid as fuck bro i'm so tired of fucking the internet man it's so dumb